this hard. And I know it could be single mothers out here that cannot bury their children. And so we just want to be a help, a blessing to somebody. As we continue to cover gun violence in Indianapolis, families are struggling, left to deal with the unexpected and heartbreaking death of their loved ones. Our TV 6's Stephanie Wade is working for you to show you how one mother is trying to help alleviate the stress of burying a child for parents like her. It's something no parent plans for. He was killed on March 5th, 2016. The death of their child. Shot him in the head and left him outside just by herself. Shamika Lyle lost her 19-year-old son, Deshaun, to gun violence two years ago. She says she was blessed to be able to bury her child because she had life insurance. But others aren't so fortunate. Would you be surprised to hear the average funeral costs more than $7,000? It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money to just come up with when you're trying to get your loved one buried, you know, within the next couple of days, maybe the week. It's hard. Who have $7,000 that you can just put put out? Barbara Tollfree. I'm struggling. Just lost her 17-year-old son, DeMarco, on Tuesday. An Arsenal Technical High School student shot through the car. None of the mothers that lost their kids deserve this. She, like others, have no idea how to come up with that kind of cash so quickly. So Shamika started an organization called A Mother's Love to help alleviate some of that monetary burden that families carry when unexpectedly losing a child to gun violence. Burial expense, they don't have something to wear. You know, we help them do that. Uh, we even want to look into, like, if they, they child, you know, you want your baby to have a headstone or something. We want to help with that also. A mother who has already buried her son, helping those who can't. Stephanie Wade, RTV6. The organization is holding a fundraiser this Saturday at MCL Restaurant and Bakery off West 86th Street from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. They'll have Primerica Insurance there to help people sign up for life insurance on site. If you want more information, you can find it in this story on the RTV6 app and the IndyChannel.com.